I first fell in love with Tiki when I was six years old. Uh, and I was, my parents took me to one of these restaurants which were uh, beautifully decorated. It was like a little movie set, a little Disneyland, a Polynesian Disneyland. And I fell in love with Polynesian culture and uh, Polynesian music and Polynesian art. Um, all strictly because of this one restaurant that my parents took me to. And when I got old enough to drink, I wanted to go to these places and experience uh, cocktails in these rooms that I love so much. When I first started trying to find out how to make vintage tiki drinks, uh, no one wanted to talk to me. Uh, no one who knew how to do it was willing to share their recipes uh, because the recipes were very valuable trade secrets. In tiki, the most important thing for a bartender is aloha. Aloha bartending is making someone feel at home, feel welcome, uh, feel like you want them to be there. And if they feel you want them to be there, then they're going to want to be there. And that, more than the drink, more than the technique, more than the garnish, is the most important thing. The thing about the Campari Academy and the people who run it, like Giuseppe Santamaria, who has been a bartender and is a world-class mixologist, is that they can educate from the perspective of the bartender, understand exactly how to relate the history and the technique and the technology to the needs and the expectations of those who are working in a bar. I would recommend this academy to any other cocktail author or lecturer um, and of course to any bartender. Um, the experience for me was really satisfying. The Campari Academy also includes the joy of bartending, the joy of learning about it.